All right, in this problem, it's asking us to plot the pair of points and graph the line containing them and determine the slope of the line. Let's determine the slope of the line first, and then we'll worry about doing the graphing of it. You remember from your slope formula, the first thing that we had to do was we had to say, okay, I find I have two points. One of them is my x1, y1, the x and the y from the first point. The other one is the x2, y2, or the x and the y from the second point. Now, once we have those kind of labeled, we can look at our formula that says uh, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And as long as you've got them labeled nicely, you can really just plug them in. So m will equal y2, we said was 11 over 6, minus y1, which we said was 5 thirds, over x2, we labeled as 9 fourths, minus x1, which we labeled as 1 half. Now, this looks very complicated, but let's just take it one step at a time. Let's ignore that this bottom is even here, and let's just subtract these fractions on the top. Remember, in order to subtract fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So we need to change 5 thirds into something over 6, so it'll have that same denominator. 3 goes into 6 uh, 2 times, 2 times 5 is 10, so 10 6 is the same thing as saying 5 thirds. Now we can subtract those because 11 6 minus 10 6 is 1 6. Now let's work on the bottom. So on the bottom, again, we need a common denominator in order to have uh, be able to subtract those fractions. So I need to change 1 half into something over 4. 2 goes into 4 2 times, 2 times 1 is 2. So 2 fourths is the same thing as saying 1 half. 9 fourths minus 2 fourths is 7 fourths. And now, again, we cannot divide fractions. So our rule says that we flip and multiply. So this becomes 1 sixth times 4 over 7. And now we're just working with fractions again. So when we multiply these fractions, we can actually simplify a bit to begin with. Um, 2 goes into 4 2 times, and it goes into 6 3 times. So our slope is actually 1 times 2 is 2 over 3 times 7 is 21. So there is our slope. Now we just have to worry about graphing it. So let's look at our first equation, our first point here rather. We're going one half in the x direction. We'll look at my x axis. Can you see that my x axis is actually broken into halves? That's what my tick marks are worth. One half, one. One and a half, two. Two and a half, three, and so on and so forth. So if I'm going to go one half in the x direction, it would put me here. But then I have to go five thirds in the y direction. Well, I hope you notice here that the from 0 to 1 has been broken up into 6 parts. So if you'll remember, we already changed 5 thirds into something over 6. That was 10 6. So we could really say that's the same thing as saying 10 6. So I go 1 half in the x direction, and I'm going to go up 10 of these 1 6 markers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 would put me right about there. There's my first point. Now for the second point, we have our x value is 9 fourths. Well, remember, my x-axis here was cut into halves. So if I cut it further into halves, now between the 0 and the 1, there are actually 4 parts. So now it's cut into fourths. I need 9 fourths in the x direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I've got to go up 11 of those 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That would put me right about there. Now the line between them that I needed to graph is really just a matter of drawing in that line. It's a very um, small uh, rise over run, but it is there.